Hi, my name is David Tu, and I'm with Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure some advanced RF power analysis techniques with a USB power sensor using our latest BenchView software. If you haven't watched the basic version of how to connect BenchView with your USB power sensor, I would suggest watching that uh, so you can understand some of the basic averaging power techniques that you can do with BenchView. In this video, we're going to be focusing on some of the more advanced analysis techniques available. So here I have a U2040X series USB power sensor, which has a really wide dynamic range from minus 70 to po positive 26 dBm, and has a wide frequency range from 10 megahertz all the way up to uh, 18 gigahertz. The U2040X and the U2020X series have an additional capability to do pulse power measurements. We'll highlight that uh, capability in this uh, video. So in this video I also have the uh, signal generator that I can use to provide a signal to my power sensor. Here the signal generator is providing a pulse signal that has a 4.6 millisecond period with a 560 microsecond pulse width, which is actually fairly common for a GSM signal. So I'm going to make the connections and then we'll pop over to BenchView real quick. So within BenchView on my PC now, I have already found the power meter. I'm going to double click that to get that started again. And in the uh, Display 1 settings menu, you see some basic uh, configuration, so which we covered in the basic video. Again, uh, calibration is also always important, so try to do your cal plus zero before you do your critical measurements. And uh, on my signal generator, I actually have a GSM signal already output, so I'm going to go ahead and press this preset button. Um, stop all, then presets. And uh, within the presets, uh, we have GSM 900. But again, you can also do uh, radar type measurements or uh, maybe an LTE preset measurement so that it presets your power sensor to measure those types of modulation signals. So um, since I have GSM 900, press that preset button to set up my power sensor. Close it. And uh, rather than doing a digital multimeter view, I'm going to close that and I'm going to bring up a trace view. A trace view is actually the same as a power versus time display, or maybe it's, uh, you know it as a, power, a signal power envelope display as well. So within the trace view, um, it's kind of a uh, live acquisition here. So um, here is my trace. You can't actually see much, so I'm going to actually change some of my uh, acquisition settings. So I'm going to change that scale to uh, look at more time. So I'm going to increase my sampling. So here you actually see the pulse from my signal generator. So the pulse is about 600 microseconds wide. Uh, again, it's 560, and then you see your noise level down here. So in addition to that, you can also set up some gate time. So let me set up gate one. And so gate one is only me measuring from here to here now. So let's, I can actually get the full power measurements of that pulse signal by looking, uh, by expanding that gate and looking at my uh, trace one uh, data down here. I could also um, add in additional measurement uh, settings such as rise time and fall time. And uh, see that often my displays down here as well. So since I didn't ha see the rise time, uh, you see the, the fall time is 5.34 microseconds. I'm not seeing the rise time because my data acquisition doesn't see the rising edge. So I'm going to change my, um, my starting time to be a little bit wider. And now you see my rise time as well as my fall time. So these types of techniques are really important for advanced uh, um, normal mode data acquisition and data analysis with a power sensor. As you can see, with BenchView and our RF uh, USB sensors, you can do some pretty advanced RF power analysis. For more videos or for more information, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to keysight.com for more information about BenchView or our power sensors. Thanks for watching.